Hello everyone. In my today's video, I am going to explain arithmetic logic program to find largest number from the given numbers. If you observe on this screen, three numbers I have taken, eight, nine, and two, and from that, nine is the largest number that I got in register B. In my today's video, I am going to explain the logic of this program in detail. So let's start with the program. Here the question that I have taken is write arithmetic logic program to find largest number from 8, 9 and 2. These are the three numbers I have taken and out of these three I am going to find out largest number. If you want to change the numbers, you can change the number and you can find out change in your output. Now let's discuss first flowchart of this program. In the program, we are going to take the different memory locations where these three numbers will get stored. And this is the main condition that we are going to check. That is, if A is greater than B, then larger number will be stored in register B. If the condition is false, that is, if A is not greater than B, then count will be decreased by 1 and the process will be continued till count becomes 0. And at the end of program, you will find the largest number in the register B. So this is the flowchart of the program. Now, I will explain this program in detail. Now the program is classified into three different parts. First part is program, second part is meaning and third part is output of the program. The program starts with the line ORG00H. This indicates starting of the program. ORG that is origin directive is used to indicate the starting location of the program. So the program is organized from location 00H. Now in order to perform the further operations, we are going to make A register as a 00 and therefore we are writing the instruction clear A that is A register contents will be cleared and therefore A will become 00H. Now this next line is very important. Here we are using one general purpose register that is R2. The instruction is move R2 comma hash 0 to. This R2 register is used as a counter in this program. Here we have taken total three numbers for comparison number 8, 9 and now, whenever we do the comparison, the counter will be decreased by 1 every time. So, as we have 3 numbers, the counter we have to set it as 2 because it will be decremented as after 2, 1, after 1 it becomes 0 like that. If you want to take 4 numbers, you have to set the counter as 3. It will be decremented as 3, 2, 1 and 0. So depending upon the num no, no, total numbers that you are taken, your counter value you have to set. In this case, we have set counter as 2 because we have 3 different numbers for comparison. So R2 value is 0 to H. Now the next instruction is one more general purpose register we are using that is register R0. Okay. In register R0, we are moving the value 30H. The meaning is the value 30H is moved in register R0. And therefore, in R0, you will get the value as 30H. Now, the next instruction is move 30H comma hash 08H. The meaning is we are going to move the number 8H onto memory location 30H. Okay. Remember this thing. 
when there is a no hash sign it will be considered as a memory location if you observe here 30h before 30h there is a no hash sign given and therefore it will be used as a memory location the number 8 if you observe there is a hash sign so it will be considered as a immediate data or number so here we are moving the number 8h to the memory location 30h so at a memory location 30h you will get number 8 like this we are moving the next two numbers that is 9 and 2 to the next memory locations that is 31h and 32h now at memory location 30h we have 8 at 31 we have 9 at 32 we have 2 now this is how you have to move your numbers to the memory locations next instruction is move b comma at r0 what is the meaning the meaning is value stored at the memory location which is pointed by register r0 that will be moved in register b okay so we are going to move the value stored at a memory location which is pointed by register r0 to the register b we are moving the value now if you observe here the r0 value we have as a 30 and at 30 we have the value as 8h and therefore the value 8 is moved in the register b okay the value which is at a memory location 30h will be moved at b register because 30h is pointed by register r0 initially we have moved 30h in register r0 and therefore it is pointed by register r0 and we have taken b as is equal to 8 next instruction is increment r0 we are going to increment the content of r0 by 1 so previously r0 was 30h here here it was 30h so now it becomes 31h okay next instruction is move a comma at r0 again value stored at memory location which is pointed by register r0 that will be moved in register a now my r0 is 31h and at 31h location i have number 9 so that number 9 will be moved in register a now if you observe in b register we have 8 in a register we have 9 now the next instruction is cjne a comma b comma l1 what is cjne compare and jump if not equal we are going to compare the contents of a and b if they are not equal the cursor will jump to the loop l1 so here a and b are 9 and 8 which which means that they are not equal therefore cursor will jump to the loop l1 so output will be cursor will be moved to l1 now under l1 we have this instruction jc next what is the meaning of jc jc is nothing but jump if carry so in other language or simple language i will tell you that if a is greater than b then larger number will get stored in register b okay and if a is less than b count will be decremented by 1 so here comparison of a and b will be done if it is greater than b then b will have the larger number if you compare here a is 9 and b is 8 means a is greater than b and therefore larger number that is 9 will be stored in register b now in register b we have number 9 now the next instruction is increment r0 again we are going to increment the content of r0 previously it was 31h so now it becomes 32h 
the next instruction is dj and z r2 comma back what is dj and z decrement and jump if not zero so r2 will be decremented by 1 and if it is not zero the cursor will go to the back loop again okay so here if r2 is decremented previously it was 2 after decrementation operation it will become 1 and therefore cursor will jump to the back loop or back routine here is our back routine right so this loop is going to execute again okay so now the cursor is at back again now the next output i have mentioned in the next column so again this instruction will be executed move a comma at r0 so now r0 value is 32h whatever we have at 32h location that will be moved in register a so at 32 we have what 2 so in a register in register a value 2 will be moved that is the next value now again there will be comparison of a and b if they are not equal cursor will jump to l1 so they are not equal therefore cursor will again jump to l1 so again l1 is what jc next means jump if carry next again there will be comparison if a is greater than b then number will be stored larger number will be stored in b otherwise count will be decremented by 1 so in this case a is 2 and b is what 9 so this condition is not true a is greater than b that is not true in this case we have this a is less than b in next step right and therefore the cursor will go to the next loop now here the counter will be decremented by 1 and r2 becomes 0 0 h okay and cursor will go to the next line so next line is what move 60 h comma b means what whatever we have at b that is we have the value as 9 so that 9 will be moved to memory location 60 h that is our final output so if your counter is not 0 then again this loop will be repeated this count this loop is going to repeat till your counter becomes 0 so that counter value is very important in your program and here if you change this values you will get the correct answer if you set the counter with correct value so this is the output or this is the detailed explanation of the program to find out largest number from given three numbers as the output at the end of my program i will get in register b 9 value and at memory location 60h also i will get the 9 value which is the largest number from the given numbers